Hi and welcome to the video. This is a very special video because I'm shooting this on the occasion of Shreya Ghoshal's birthday. Uh, so I'll be listing my top five Shreya Ghoshal songs in this video. Uh, but before we get to all that, Shreya, in case you get to watch this by any off chance, uh, I wish you a very, very happy birthday. Uh, with that being said, uh, let's get right into the video. But before getting into the video, let me just throw a disclaimer at you guys. Uh, there's no fixed criterion or criteria for uh, picking these five songs uh, because I can't, I just can't. It's such a huge uh, body of work and it's random. It's what I like. Uh, there's no basis for this. Uh, maybe there'll be some couple of uh, rare songs in there, uh, but it's just coincidental. Uh, it's not planned. And also let me admit that I'm cheating a bit uh, because the first position and the second position each have two songs uh, instead of one. And I'm also going to do three honorable mentions before we start the actual countdown. Uh, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first honorable mention is a song called Aaj Dil Gustak Hai. This is a duet with Supinder Singh. Uh, this is from the album Blue. This was, I think, A.R. Rahman's first album after the Oscars, the first Hindi album. Uh, so Shreya did this experimental kind of song, I would say, with this song uh, because her voice goes into some previously unheard kind of a range. Uh, the texture is also very different. And I think she also does some scatting and some sargams towards the end, which seem very unplanned and just part of an improvised uh, bit, which was added to the song. Uh, the second honorable mention is, of course, her first ever song uh, in Hindi cinema, uh, which is a song called Dairi Pia. Uh, people would hit me, personally find me and hit me if I did not include a Bansali song in this video. And uh, what better song to include than the first one? Uh, because it was almost there. Everything was there. She has improved. She has bettered herself. All that is fine. But ever since her first song, uh, it was pretty much bang on. I've heard her say in a lot of interviews that if she had the knowledge and experience that she has now, she would have done her initial songs very differently. Uh, but for us listeners, even that is still very fresh. Even if we hear it after all these years, uh, we can't find even a single flaw and it's just perfect. Now this third honorable mention is somewhat of a hidden gem. Uh, there was a film called Ankahi, uh, which had this beautiful song called Ek Pal Ke Liye Hi Sahi. Uh, so this song, uh, Apart from having Shreya in it, uh, as a composition itself is a great song. Uh, it has three versions, uh, but my favorite version is of course Shreya's. Uh, the balance, the finesse that we talk about in all of her songs and the dynamics that she probably gives to every single part of every single note, uh, that is very evident here. And she has done a very restrained and a very controlled job here. Uh, of course, she's the best part about the song. Now let's get to the actual countdown. Uh, so at number five is a song called Lattu from the film Gajni. So before she was doing uh, proper item songs, uh, if you will, it feels very weird to even use that term. Uh, but before Chikni Chameli or before any of those songs, uh, she had done this song, which was kind of an item number, which was kind of in that zone. Uh, but again, it was a very unusual song for her at the time because she was associated or even typecast as this you know, melodious singer, uh, which she broke with the song and kudos to A.R. Rahman for experimenting with her voice like that. It goes into some weird territories, this song. If you haven't heard, uh, please go and check this out. This is again an underrated song because this song uh, wasn't promoted that well. Uh, Shreya had done another song in the same film, uh, which got, you know, much more recognition, but this kind of got left out. Uh, so this is on number five. At number four is again a hidden gem. Uh, this is a song called Naam Ada Likhna. Uh, this is again a duet with Shan. Uh, lyric writer is Gulzar Saab and again uh, the music composer is one of her favorite collaborators with Shantanu Moitra. This is from a film called Yaha. Uh, what is very special and unique about the song itself is that it's not just a love song. Uh, it is again uh, a song which is plays out as a love song, but it is uh, dealing in layers as most of Gulzar Saab's songs. It is about Kashmir. So if you carefully listen to the lyrics, it fits the love story as well and the state of Jammu and Kashmir. 
again uh, brilliant dynamics uh, really good chemistry with shan there are portions where they both sing the melody i don't know if they recorded it uh, together or separately but it fits really well and there are portions where she even overlaps her own voice even those portions are really worth listening this song also is my favorite uh, because it has a very unique structure it kind of just flows although it has like an antra and stuff but it doesn't seem like a conventional structured song it feels very different and again shreya's voice is the usp of the song at number 3 is a song called mehak this is another underrated hidden gem uh, this is from a film called ayya music is by amit trivedi lyric writer is amitabh bhattacharya and uh, why i really love this song is that i keep going back to this again and again it's a very soft mellow kind of a ballad it is a kind of a genre that shreya does a lot uh, but if that genre is a color this is a different shade of the same color uh, i have done a detailed video about this uh, in one of the underrated episodes if you want you can just go and check that but again i'll say if you haven't listened to the song do yourself a favor and go check out the song as well the first song at number 2 is a song called jaane do na from chini kam when a uh, maestro a legend like le raja wants to recreate his old song with a different orchestration and put that in a hindi film uh, with a completely different context and a mood uh, you don't have a better singer than shreya to pull it off uh, so this song is very convoluted in its arrangement it goes all over the place uh, in the antra we get to hear her open her voice uh while as in the mukhda it's very soft uh but that's the beauty it travels all across the place you can hear her do even uh range wise a lot of things uh it travels i think almost uh, an octave to one and a half octave range i may be wrong if any of you guys know put that in the comment section down below uh so this song has a bit of vocal gymnastics which shreya pulls off like really easily uh i'll just have a tit bit here that there was an interview i was watching where uh, they asked her that if she had to sing for one composer or she wouldn't take money from him uh, one composer who would it be and she said uh, ela raja so she also likes a lot uh, to work with him so this is a perfect combination of both the geniuses coming together on this particular song the second song on number 2 is a song that we all love and it's still a popular hit uh, is a song called jadoo hai nasha hai it's from movie jism uh, and the music composer is mm cream or kiramani as he is known down south uh, so this song of course i don't have to say much it's a very popular song you all know this song what i really like about the song is this was uh, i think immediately after devdas in a couple of years uh, she hadn't done a sensual kind of a song and uh, she was very young to pull off such an emotion but she did it brilliantly she again says in a lot of interviews that you know maybe uh, she didn't know what she was singing about and she just copied it but uh, i think a lot of music a lot of art uh, is in the perceiver's head as well like because the lyric is there the tune is there and even the, if the singer does a decent job she did way more than a decent job she did a fantastic job but we put the rest in right uh, uh, even with the visuals we put it in uh we make that emotion in our mind so i guess it works in that way also uh but yeah again flawless singing and again uh, this is a case in point for people who say that she improved over the years uh i kind of have to disagree it was all there uh, everything was right there right from the beginning the first among those two songs uh, is a song called munbeva it's from a film called jilin aur kadal it's a tamil film a uh, music is yaar rahman and lyrics are by wali uh, is one of my favorite poets uh, and this is an absolutely brilliant kind of a song for multiple reasons i'll tell you why uh, there are many singers who are not native tamil speakers but they go and sing uh, tamil songs but this song uh, you can't make out that shreya is not a native tamil speaker because uh, for example the word i'm saying tamil right it's not tamil it's not tamil it's not tamil it's tamil so the r sound uh, is not present in any of the other uh, languages i think except malayalam i may be wrong here let me know uh, so that itself for a non native speaker is very difficult to say uh, but you don't get that anywhere uh, any of her tamil songs you just take them and like have a listen 
it's bang on it's perfect and i'm pretty sure it's the same for other languages as well uh, because that's the hard work and the commitment and dedication to uh, the profession right uh, coming back to this song this song again has her do everything right soft portions ala uh, a high range low range everything is there uh, difficult lyrics i think even there are like tongue twister kind of lyrics in the song so she pulls that as well uh, and the arrangement of course is brilliant lyrics are brilliant this whole song uh, irrespective of shreya singing is fine by itself but shreya is the you know crowning uh, jewel to this particular song Uh, I know that there is a fan following for this particular song, even among her non-Tamil fans. So that's how this song is popular, and uh, people would find my address and come and hit me if I didn't include this in her top five. The other song at number one is, of course, "Barsore Megha" from the film Guru. Uh, so Gulzar Saab's lyrics, A.R. Rahman's music, and Shreya's vocals. What else do you need? So this song is on my playlist, and uh, it's one that I keep. Uh, revisiting i keep going back to the song uh, it's still fresh it never bores me let's keep shreya aside for a moment and talk about the song uh, so this song is a perfect mix of gulzar saab's lyrics uh, a bit of urdu comes from there and then you have these gujarati folk melodies and then the semi classical kind of a touch to the main melody but what's more interesting is that this is the introduction song for ashwarya rai in the film which is a typical hindi film situation right and it fits in that soft heroine introduction kind of a zone uh, which shreya became known for later for people like priyanka and dipika uh, but this was just like a match made in heaven uh, again there are a lot of vocal gymnastics here uh, there are improvisations i think which she did and then they put them all together uh, but it feels like the character singing it feels like the singer has a very deep understanding of the situation and the character uh, all the technical aspects are 100 on 100 right pronunciation dynamics uh, pitching of course everything is bang on but it takes somebody as skilled and as experienced as shreya ghoshal to Uh, know the medium that she's singing for, and know the kind of person that she's singing for, and know the expressions of the person who will be, you know, portraying the song on screen. And she has taken care of everything uh, with her voice, with her singing, and done a bang up job of the song. Uh, so that is my list. If you agree, disagree, let me know in the comment section down below, uh, and make sure to put your top five, top ten. Uh, whichever you can manage in the comments as well uh, so that's it for the video and once again by any off chance share if you get to watch this video wish you again a very very happy birthday so that's it for the video if you like the video and stuck with me till the end uh, thanks a lot for that uh, check out our stuff on my channel i do a lot of music recommendations music reviews and other music related content if you like any of that please consider subscribing i'm trying to hit 1000 subscribers uh, if you want to tell me anything good bad ugly or request something put that in the comment section down below or you could simply dm me on instagram you have my instagram handle in the description uh, with that being said uh, thanks for watching the video i'll see you all in another video